<laughs> good day! Good day, good day! Good day! Um, and welcome to today's vlog! <sighs> Been up early this morning. <laughs> Failed at finding a horse yesterday. But one did not give up. Today's adventure is finding a horse. And guess what? I have found a horse at Cat, look, that place. Cat Motors. And they're really good and the price is really good as well, which is really good. And they've got a nice proper yard, look. So can you tell what horse I got? A three year old Aerox, fully electric. Looking in very good condition. And it is the keyless version. It's got a thingy there for me phone for GPS. And it's 4,000 baht for the month. Which is really good. I did find, I think it was a Kawasaki 250. They wanted 8,000 for the baht for the month. Was considering it until I found this place. Um, which I did find in, on, on the internet and then I've got GPS to get here. So I was really pleased. 4,000 baht for a month, 3,000 baht deposit and they're photocopying my passport and my driver's license, which is awesome. Mission one has been accomplished. <laughs> so now I've got to go and find loads of little adventures from Chiang Mai because I might where I like my hotel right I really do like my hotel it is awesome it, it really is I won't mind staying there for a couple more nights so I think I might have a couple adventures from Chiang Mai before I go on a, a little journey so today well next up I need breakfast so hang in there <laughs> okay as you probably noticed I have been back to the hotel and I have a change of clothing. I've got to sort the gubbins out on that American helmet uh, before I wear it. So I've stuck to my old faithful for the time being. But the helmet was really good and the gubbins is, they're all original in there. So um, even though I've got to lug that about, I'm happy. But I'm a little bit disappointed because now I have the horse I've just thought, right, let's have a little meal about, let's go cruising, looking for breakfast. But as, as always, I get distracted. And right across the road there is a second-hand motorbike shop. He hasn't got an Aerox, but he's got other bikes uh, there which are really good value. So I'm going to give him a look in a month's time when I come back. I'm going to stay tonight. Um, I'm, I, I don't know how I'm going to go and do it. I'm going to do it daily just to see how much I can explore the Chiang Mai town. Not the province, the town. I want to see if it's actually worth coming to Chiang Mai. Because <laughs> yesterday, I, that's how, I don't know. But as always, I get about on the horse and I do a bit of recon. And I just, like I said, I just come down this road and I saw this hotel. The River Art Hotel. And that, it just caught my eye. <laughs> I was lucky to see it because it could easily pass you by. I love it, poet, poet. I don't know where the river is, but I just went inside and I asked this two young ladies sitting there on the right hand side. And uh, I said, I'm not really looking. I, I just want to, oh, can I film? So they said, yes. So I'm going to turn you around. Just turn it around, mate, not like anything. Wicked, so I like I like the rust. You guys know I love rust and I love how they've let that really go. Look on the bishop type doors. I like bishop doors and the flooring is really cool. And the lady said I could come in, could probably hide and up behind the counter. Sweaty cap, hello, hello, sheep. Look, love the sheep, but I'm gonna save my favorite bit. Let's look, mate, every little bit of it. It's like a proper artistic boutique hotel, which when I get bigger budget, I'll possibly stay in these because I bet each room has probably a different artistic flair. That wicked Japanese chair, big bunny, 
Is it a bunny? It is, it's a bunny. It's just, it is just awesome. And this fella, I kind of like that. That's really, really cool. That's the kind of thing you would find in Norwich when they do the, every year they do something in Norwich around the city where they'll, they'll have perhaps a hundred of them all painted differently, sponsored, and then they'll stick them all around the city and you've got to go and try and locate them. Um, and that, that's, the, that's really cool. And I love the garden. Look, more sheep. Can never have enough sheep. Oh, actually. Sean, the sheep. Can't turn it off. <laughs> but my favourite was Donald Duck. Look at him. Mate, he's proper. He's proper. That's a really, really cool bit of artwork. I love all the little wires sticking out. Whoever's thought of that probably smoked far more than what I do. <laughs> and it is, ladies don't mind me just walking about, look. That is cool. It's just such a unique little thing. The artists, this must all come from different artists. There's no way that these heads are obviously from the same artist, the paintings from the same artist, but I should think that these mechanical items are from the same artist. Uh, I will ask the ladies how many different artists are, are in here. I bet there's a few, but look, even look, 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 all the sockets, the piping, all exposed. Uh, oh man, and the raw ceilings. I like stuff like that. I really do. So I'm not going to wander too far. <laughs> well, maybe I am. This stuff is so cool. I found the coolest spot that I've probably found yet. Is it Donald? I believe it is. Here you go, have a look at that, guys. Hit pause, and now you can play the guessing game of who they are. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's the Korean bloke, right? Oh, man, how cool is that? The men's toilet. It's the men's toilet. I don't know how men will get on in it. <laughs> oh, man. It's wicked. 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 I'm really happy. Oh, mate, this place, I love, I do love it. See all the aluminium? Right, all like that. That is that. I, I really do like that. Not many people do it. They're afraid of it. They'll put a, put a, a ceiling to hide it all. But that is oh, that is proper. Proper is me. Look, I'm in a man in the mirror. Look at this. It's impressive, to say the least. I'll show you what's on this wall behind me when I walk back. <laughs> it's colossal. It is on the look. That is superb. That is just so good. Everyone, look at all this piping, all this industrial. Oh man, I could get carried away with it. Cock nose. Look, cock nose. Cock nose. No, it's just a normal one. <laughs> but I do. I love everything about this place. I certainly do. That is, that's awesome. That really is. That's the least interesting thing I've seen. <laughs> Up from the crocodiles. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. Right, I am going to have to inquire about prices because even though it's called the River Art Hotel, I did not expect there to be a river. But guess what? There is. Look at that as you look down there. Somebody's taking a leak. Ah, these little apartments here, look, dirty bird chairs. They really are. How's that apartment? Is that room open? Oh man. I'll tell you what, guys. Look at it, these boutique rooms. There's something else. You come out that the sun can you imagine right you have in that room you got your two dirty birds sorry your two dirty birds either side champagne in the chiller at least two bottles right great big dirty ashtray with blunts sitting there and i mean you just sit there 
even this ornate lot, even like this paving, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. Great big trees. Mate. Swaddy cap. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? Oh, mate, I'm so much better for coming in here. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome, mate. Where are you from? I'm English. From England. From England, yes. Okay, I like Liverpool. You like Liverpool? That's okay. Yes. That that's okay, mate. <laughs> mate, yes. It's okay to like Liverpool. It is <laughs> Liverpool. So, are you are you the owner, the boss? No, no, no. No, you just just working here. You, yeah, you're lucky to work here, mate. Thank you. Yeah, you can uh, go to the river. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I, when I first came in, I uh, I expected a little, but uh, as this place comes, mate, yeah, okay. it's so impressive. Thank you. Oh man, cool, cool. And these steps. Oh mate, I'm so chuffed with myself because last time I was getting a bit. When I'm getting negged out, I was like, "What do people come to Chang?" My foot. Oh wow, wow. This <laughs> it's a bit rickety. Wow. So be careful on the bamboo raft. I am stepping very lightly. If not, you're going in the mud. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, usually I would have said, oh man, about 50 times by now. I know. <laughs> I don't like repetition. I don't, I get bored of it myself. I bore myself with my own repetition. I do. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Oh, man, it's just so cool. Coolest place I think I've been since I was on. Oh man, the Hippie Hay. The Hippie Hay is probably the coolest bar I've been to yet. But this, oh mate, the river. Could sit here, do a bit of fishing. There's two guys over there doing a bit of fishing. Beautiful. Beautiful. It really is. There's another hotel over there. Oh man, as you look, you can imagine seeing this from the river. It's wicked. It's wicked. So this is, I'd put it on par with the hippie hay. The hippie hay is the bar on Ko Payam. P-A-Y-A-M. Ko Payam. Now if you if you do want to have an island to yourself that's the place to go well right, we're gonna tip top <laughs> on these bamboo rafts oh man it's got a japanese feel to it uh, as well it's um oh, it's really good it's really good people are kind so all i need to do is find out how much so you can sit here little tables to eat so i guess they've probably got their own restaurant there's not that many rooms i guess three six nine ten eleven and probably some more at the front i don't know don't know not on your feet from 60s 1960s 70s type floor tiles oh. Oh. which is probably i'll put them down to the late 60s and I bet they were put in when this place was first built. Oh man, the artwork. Featuring, oh well, it must be, look. <laughs> That's the other end of that room. What the bathroom was like. Oh, it's all night, look. Look. <laughs> what a wonderful room. See, this kind of thing, now it's all right when I'm traveling on my own. I like I share everything more or less everything with you guys. But these types of places, you're like you need to be sharing it with your missus, really. Um, so you know, <laughs> ah, you do. What a wicked thing! So impressed. I am so impressed. And there is this kitchen right there okay and you have look the stairs that go upstairs oh go on go on then <laughs> i might have to make this block but i'll say it's oh look the amount of detail the amount of thought 
the processing, everything. <laughs> Classes. Do you know what I mean? Who was busy in lockdown? Who just sat there waiting for tourist wallet in lockdown? Uh -huh. Those that will survive and those that will die. <laughs> oh man, the little diver. It's wicked. That's so cool. It's so cool. Look at those cattle. Oh, that spray. They're old spray tins. They are. Old graffiti paint tins, man. That I've had. It is wax. How cool. They are super cool. The teeth and that. Yeah, I like them a lot. I really do. Oh, man, look. All these old black and white pictures in these frames. That, that is proper artwork. Collard is just a simple idea, but somebody's had that idea, and now you've seen that idea, you'll probably think, oh, I've got to do something like that. Only thing is, <laughs> what you do turn out to be a lot of crap. <laughs> That's what normally happens. Oh, I'll get a bit of that. Just love it with the fencing. I'll start a fence over the top, give it that metal. I'd have rusted it up a bit, rustic. Do you know what I mean? With these captions of time through history. I get it. It's awesome. It's really cool. It's really cool. And they will, they're just old photographs, perhaps, of Chiang Mai. So they're really good. They're really good. <laughs> and it is just, oh man, it does just goes on and on and on. Right, that's enough. Otherwise, I literally a waste the whole, not waste, but the whole vlog will probably be this place, won't it? He says. Oh, there's another for you go up. Up another one. <laughs> oh, got to see it. Got to see this place. For in its all its glory. Because it may not be again, you know. Oh, the shark's head. Love a shark's head on a wall. Oh, man, all this shabby chic. That is shabby chic. In Thailand, they have Oh, can they? Oh, shanty, she, roof tile, I was about to walk straight into the swimming pool, uh, not realising. <laughs> and they're the men that I saw, the flower pot men, from, the, from down there. And I did almost walk straight into the swimming pool. Funny. Very funny. I'm so impressed. One on the floor. I will dedicate <laughs> this vlog to this hotel. I will. Now I've seen these before. The birds don't like the old uh, coconuts. I've seen them somewhere else. Very similar. I have. And it is. It's just a joy. It's eye candy. That's what it is. Pure, pure eye candy. Now. If I said it was anything else, I'd be lying. Can't help it. I just can't help it. Oh man. All different threads. Hey, I love, I love the artist who have done all this. That is superb. I really like that. I like that a lot. Oh man. You know, a <laughs> little, little pistol. What are these things going on? That's superb. That really is something. Uh, right. And that is it. I will turn around and go down. Now, when I came out, when I came out earlier, oh, look, just didn't see them. That's superb. I left my camera. I thought, oh, I ain't going to need my camera. If I need to take a picture to show someone something, I just got my phone. Same old thing over and over again. Every time you bring your camera out, you wish you had. Or every time you leave it at home, you think, lives and learns. Got to bring it with you everywhere you go. Oh, man, that is awesome. Did I go down that bit? I don't think I did. The artwork is a bit special. Everywhere. There's another room. 
in there. The ladies are cleaning. Footy cap. Can can I come in? Can come in? Can I? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Cap on cap. I say someone's donated. Someone's checked out. They've hired this room, but they've gone. But it's lovely that I just come in so I can show you what a balcony view is, and you can sit here up in that sun, full on your face, with a tropical, tropical, tropical garden right there. Okay. <laughs> cap on cap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Oh. And another room. <laughs> the front one. Right, let's go. Hang on, don't look at me. I'm not look at the artwork. It is. Mm. Okay, so there's two lots of stairs. <laughs> Yes, going the way, the right way, I think. Yes. Love them tins, those spray tins with the wax. That's, that's, that's really cool. They're really impressive. I might even do something like that myself. <laughs> but you know what? You know what will probably come out looking like? Nothing like that, no. <laughs> Man. Oh, there is, this is the gents' toilets. That is so good. So good. Cup of warm cap. How much for one night? In? Look at this stuff, all these little switches. Rough, roughly? Roughly how much for one night? Thousand bucks. Seven hundred. Start at one thousand seven fifty. Okay. Well, that's not too bad, really, is it? One thousand seven hundred and fifty Thai baht to stay here for one night. You think of the photographs you could get. I, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't bring my camera. But that, uh, some of these things would make absolutely artworks in their own. Cup on cap, that was really kind, thank you. Cup on cap. Ah oh, man, really kind people and a fantastic hotel. The River Art Hotel. Right, I came out for breakfast. In Chiang Mai! <laughs> Look at that! Little LI 150. Wicked. That is the nuts of a Lambretta. It's been tuned up a bit, you can tell by the exhaust, so I bet that goes like stink. Little Ancelotti seat on there, look. That's proper. That's the real deal. <laughs> and the guy, of course I asked if he wanted to sell it. Hey, that'd be awesome shooting about Thailand on one of them be something special cup on cap the guy's there he's just doing a bit of work out he's got his Vespa he's got a newer Vespa but what is really really impressive is this little number it's another LI150 under full restoration look at that that's really cool it's really really cool to see this stuff in oh man look he's got all this gear in there and his gearbox just cool to see this stuff in Thailand and that old scooter weekly print look at that you don't see many of them nor that oh that's a 
Oh man, train night market. Wicked. I think that's relevant to something in Bangkok. Ah, oh, really cool. A nice little guy to let me film. Cap on cap. Thank you, have a good day, buddy. That's really cool. Right. I'm looking for breakfast. I am. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see what else we can find out of the ordinary. It's you. Okay. I'm on. I'm on. Sorry. Forgot to fluff myself up for the camera. Oh man, so I'm back here for happy ending. I am. We're. I think I had a disappointing ending yesterday. Or I can't remember if that was an intermission. Seems so long ago. It does. I sat over there, didn't I? In there. And they would not serve me lager sitting in the front, so I had to actually go and sit in there. So I like drinking lager in the hot sun. And that's why I had to pack up. It was all right, but I don't like. Uh, I don't like. French cut onions in a pack of power. I don't like onions in food to, to bulk it out. And that's what it was from that little place there. So today, I'll point something out to you. You know, people, I've told you before, people on the scooters, they just come up, they just park the scooter. All there, look, all of them. Every single one of them. They've all just racked up and parked their bikes there for the sun to heat their seats up. Now you would have thought with all this shaded area, You'd have thought at least maybe one person would have parked in the shade. The whole street. <laughs> one person has had the thought to park his bike in the shade. <laughs> to think of, no one ever thinks about it, guys. You're just all too busy trying to get where you're going. You just rack up and leave. Then you come back, you sit on your seat and your ass get burned. It's your own fault for not looking for a bit of shade. So I'm in this boozer, right there. This geezer got nicked my pint, I think. So I am the score restaurant bar. So guys, and I have ordered a steak and Guinness pie with potatoes and veg. But I reckon it will be here uh, before I've drank the pint. It's good, what is it on the deal? Look, today's deal, pie and a pint, 299 bar. Tiger though, so cheers. Mmm, well, thanks for watching. Oh mate, hang on, hang on. I was then got to say, um, anyway, anyway, what I've got to say, so anyway, my sec first impression to getting there, Chiang Mai, it was like, what's the point of coming here? And that, but I've had a real good ride about today on the scooter and I have found that really class hotel. It's worth coming here just to stay there for a night. But I have been milling about. I have found a few other garages that I may go back. Uh, I found a Vespa garage to look at, but um, it is Chiang, Chiang Mai, it's worth a couple of days. That's what I would say. I ain't done yet. I, I, I might have another night tomorrow. I, I, so I really like my hotel. I do, and now the sun's come out. And now I'm gonna have a little relaxing afternoon, I think. Maybe go and sit by the pool and all that. But I will, I ain't done yet. I'll probably see if I can come out and do a vlog this evening. And then tomorrow I might stay again and I'll see if there's a couple of places that I can go to from Chiang Mai uh, and make a couple of vlogs there. Uh, I rented the bike for a month. So I'm <laughs> gonna make, a, make a, a, a month here. So I'm in no rush. I'll try and give as much coverage of this area uh, as possible you know um, now I, I did go through the night market last night I've seen a few people have done already amazing mate the night market is shit it's, it's right it's just another friggin night market I have been to a couple of really really good night markets and the one I went to last night wasn't all that so I won't be going to make a vlog about that no no <laughs> fucking point I'll be moaning about everything no Maybe be funny I may come out a vlog about it just for fun Right, I'm happy. Bike safe. Pint is there. Oh, hang on. And there's a bit of music. That's why I come out of the bar. I've got a big screen there. I can catch up on the Premiership. And also, I did find football shirts and shorts, uh, international ones. And I've been told they are the latest design. I weren't 100% happy with the quality, but they were 100 
170 bar for a shirt and shorts. So I might be going back there to pick up a few international shirts and shorts. And also another big rucksack to put all my crap in. Oh, as if by magic, my pie has arrived. <laughs> Cheers, darling. And I did say to the young lady, if you do not have potatoes, then French fries will do. So we have French fries. We got a bit of custard, brown custard. It's all right. It's all right. A bit of pisto. Steak and Guinness pie. It's all right, the pie. Look, it's all right. Oh man very very meaty very hot mm. a bit of steamed carrot okay one small cheers guys mm. thanks for watching and until next time au revoir